What's up, Divine Family? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic-y ass clowns. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. So please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. All right. So we're about to see what is the karmic energy first. No, what is the message? Because these are my angel, my angel deck. Ain't no karmic energy going to be up in this angel deck. Some of you are activists. Some of you are um, do spoken word. There's commitment out here. I'm going to just get three cards from this deck, Holy Spirit. Give me three cards for the message for the divine gentleman. Speak your truth. Speak your truth. And the healing came out in reverse. See, it's a situation that you're in, baby. You can't heal because it's something you holding in. You need to release it, let it go. Speak your truth. Tell somebody how you feel. That's how people die from heart attacks from holding shit in. Holding in hurt. You're a leader. Okay? Okay, so Holy Spirit. Oh, what is it? The divine family needs to speak the truth about. And so you're dealing with the narcissist. You're dealing with the narcissist or someone who has money, a wealthy man energy, or a wealthy woman energy. Okay, she may be refusing to sign some divorce papers. Or she could be thinking negatively on how ways where she don't have to. Maybe you need to speak the truth to this person about them not, you know. And they 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 it's like they hold you in high honor. This person could be sick for some of you and they're not telling you. Okay. Or is it you? Collective. Maybe you sick. The universe is here. Maybe you sick and your person or somebody you're thinking about don't know that you're sick. Or it could be the opposite. But somebody needs to speak the truth. If it's not you that needs to speak the truth, maybe your person needs to speak the truth to you about something. You need to speak the truth if you feel like this person is um, unofficial, if they're not being who they say they are. You need to speak the truth to this person if you feel like they're like dimming your light. If you feel like this person is a snake, you need to speak the truth. If you feel like this person is wearing an artificial persona, you need to speak the truth. If you feel like this person is treating you colder than a polar bear's toenails, you need to speak the truth. If you think this motherfucker talk too much and he know more than he's saying he do, you need to speak the truth. Maybe you need to just let somebody have it. Okay? Maybe you need to speak the truth because it's a, sp a snake that's returning to your life. Laugh. They laughing at you. They laughing because they want to return. Okay? And they want to return with a false persona. That this is somebody you done been with before. And remember in the beginning when you was with them before, this person, they like took away your shine. They didn't want you to be creative. When you would tell this person anything, they had a lot of bright ideas, right? But when you would try to tell them something, they didn't want to hear that because they done been there and done that. Okay, they didn't travel the world. They didn't been. They didn't read every book. They don't want to hear it. You can't tell this motherfucker nothing. Okay, and this is somebody you need to heal from. But you gotta let this motherfucker know that you are the leader. Okay, and some of you have ended a marriage with this person, or they could have proposed to you and you turned them down because you realized that they were doing black magic. Mm hmm. They getting karma for that shit. Spirit has reached a judgment on this person and they're taking their money and they got them in spiritual prison. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if it ain't going on now, it's going on in the near future. And this person is spying on you to see 
how much of their falseness that has that you know about. They spying on you to see how much of their secrets have been revealed to you. <coughs> but yeah, this is a snake you're dealing with. And this person has multiple partners. They like them young and old. Okay? You could have a child with this person. This person could be either a Pisces. They could be a Capricorn. Or they could be an Aquarius. I see also a, a miscarriage out here. Someone could have been in a mental imprisonment with this person. And if you had a miscarriage, that's with spirit helping you out. Because this person is of the dark. And they would have tried to sacrifice that baby. That's why this... This upside down cross is next to this fish in, reserve, in reverse. Fish. It's a lot of it's a lot of uh, different things that that fish can represent. My grandmother um, would dream of fish, and then somebody in my family would be pregnant. Okay. It could also mean somebody likes to do a lot of fishing. They may feel like they went fishing and they're not catching enough fish. This is part of their karma. Somebody even went fishing at a lake where they see polar bears all the time and snakes and shit. Secretly. Or this is where you need to go to heal. What else does it the divine you need to speak the truth about? You need to speak the truth how you how this person was unloyal to you. Yeah, because they had all this temptation out here. Mm -hmm. You need to speak the truth to them about the mental imprisonment they had you in. And if you was pregnant by them, you and you lost the baby, you let them know you lost the baby because they, they wouldn't allow you to be free. And they was doing some sort of spell work on you. Mind manipulation, but they are of the devil. Okay? And this is spell work out here. It's a lot of bad cards out here. The snake. The false mask. Secrets and deception. Narcissistic behavior. Imprisonment. Loss of a child or loss of money. Divorce or breakup. Endings of relationships, unofficial, and the universe is right here, upright. And all of this, what they did, somebody is sick, but they ain't tell me. Now, this person could have an STD, a spiritually transmitted disease. They could have a spiritually transmitted demon. They could have HIV, COVID. It could be a pregnancy. Somebody could be pregnant, but a snake can be pregnant by um, a masculine energy. You could have a snake pregnant, or somebody could be pregnant by a snake. And it could be a secret pregnancy. Okay? Somebody is hiding the fact of the storm that they're going through. And maybe that's you, Divine Feminine. You need to speak the truth of the storm, what this motherfucker done put you through. Stop letting them continue to do that shit. Thinking you stupid and, and, and don't know what's going on. And you ain't the main female that he doing this to. And he don't want it to be over. Or she don't want it to be over. It could be you, Divine Masculine, dealing with this energy. Expectation. No concern. Taking bad risks and gambles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Need to let this person go. So I need to get some advice. And then after I get some, I'm going to get three cards from this deck and then I'm going to get some spiritual advice because this is a demon that you're dealing with. This person has a demonic attachment and they're, and they're, they're trying to, you know, manipulate your energy. Okay, so spirit... Um, Okay, this is a Knight of Cups. 
somebody you're not dealing with no more. So they're doing spell work. They had you in a mental imprisonment. And they're they're trying to keep you there. They want to put you back there. Okay. This person is is uh, stingy with his love. He don't plan on proposing to you. Now this could be why this ring is in reverse. They don't plan on proposing to you. This person is doing spell work. They want you to keep on, you know, accepting them, not having no concern for you, not showing no love to you. I don't see no love out here. I just see a lot of lies, cheating, and deception. And it's something whoever you're dealing with, they hurt you. Okay, and you haven't healed from it. It's gonna make me go on my karmic cards and, and boy, uh it's some shit in there, man. That's what I'm about to do. Give me give me two more spirit. Two more cards for the divine family. Dead. Somebody popping in and popping out of your life, Divine Feminine. Four swords in reverse. See, this person is trying to energetically kill you, kill you in, literally. Um, or some of you, you may need to sit down and rest. Or this person could be stealing your energy, trying to, again, trying to drain your energy. You got all the affirmation. You got all the information that you need before you withdraw your energy from this person. You got the information, so withdraw your energy. Okay, one more spirit. You know that this person is of the devil. And if you know they of the devil, put it in the comments that you, you rebuke them right now in the name of Jesus. Okay. This person wants you to be in, in a mental imprisonment. They want to keep taking risks with you with all of these sexual partners and shit. This is a risk taker. And they're taking bad risks. And this is why, you know, they, they call and you want to contact you, want to spend time with you, pretending like they're loyal, but they're just a narcissist. They'll get you out and make it seem like they want to take you somewhere or want to go somewhere, but they really don't. They're just trying to get back in your energy, okay? Give me one more spirit. But just to remind you, they are getting the karma and, um, Give me a thumbs up just for letting you know that this person is receiving judgment, okay? Put a thumbs up on Yep, here it goes again, karma. Yep, because they, it's like they wanted you ten of swords. They wanted you to feel stabbed in the back, pinned down. Overdramatic and, and defeated. You got to accept it. You, they wanted you to accept that you were defeated. They wanted you to be hurt. All these major arcanas, the sun in reverse. They didn't want you to have no clarity. They didn't want you enjoying life, having no personal growth. They didn't want you to be seen for who you truly are. Okay. They wanted you to be scared to be happy, clouded joy and conflict in relationships. You know, no trust. Just the way they wanted you to feel, defeated. And like you, it's like, like you're taking a bad risk. But see, it was them who took the gamble, but they want you to feel like whatever it is that you're trying to do in life, you're a fool for. But in reality, they the fool. Okay? You're a leader, and they're the fool. Okay? You see what it say? You're a leader. They're the fool. Okay? And they went on this journey, or it could be you that's being the fool and the leader. Okay, because the fool don't ain't 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 bad. It's just jumping off into something where you're not sure. But you're a leader, you can do that. You can jump off into some shit 
and you come out on top. And see, whoever this snake energy, this person is who's who wearing a false mask that treated you cold, doing spell work and all of this shit, not wanting you to shine, showing no concern for you, a narcissist motherfucker. You wasn't a main person. They was unofficial in the relationship and some of them is sick. You got to heal from that. So... Okay, Spirit, I need you to show me, give me three cards to show the Divine Family how to heal from this situation. Give me three cards. Some of you are still know the situation that you and this person wasn't seeing eye to eye. And see, they was pointing the finger at you about a lot of things. They was pointing the finger at you saying, and you're the snake. They point the finger at you saying, you the one doing spell work. You the one cheated. You the one keeping them from being, you know, a star standing out. You the one didn't show no concern in the relationship. You the one didn't want to end it. That's their motherfucking ass is pointing the finger at you. You did it. You did it. You did it, divine. That's because this motherfucker is of the devil. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. Take the part that resonates and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Okay? Okay, Holy Spirit. What is the advice for my collective? What is the advice when it comes to these collective the energies? What is the advice for the collective? Okay, somebody out there, you have a gift, a talent, you're either a seer, you're a clairvoyant, you're audio going, you may have the gift of laying hands, um, you may read tarot cards or something, but you have some sort of gift, and you're no longer hiding it, you're no longer allowing someone to play mind games with you to keep you trapped in a situation. Where this, pers this person had you with the feeling of um, like being the hanging man. Spirits say they got you. Okay. From all four directions. From the north, south, the east, and the west. They got you. Okay. You see them four birds? That's four spirits. The first, I mean the first. First and the last. The uh, north, south, east, and west. And see that red color? That means you survived dealing with this person. You survived all of this bullshit down here. That red is the color of your root chakra, which means grounding and survival. Red represents survival. Red represents stop. Spirit is saying stop allowing this person to use you. Stop allowing this person to do and to do to mind manipulate you. But it feels like they're getting it. Mm-hmm. They can't run game on you no more, baby. No, no. Mm -hmm. They defeat. They feeling betrayed. Okay? You need to speak your truth. Or you done spoke your truth. Some of you already done spoke the truth to this person. If you let them have it, put it in the comments, okay? One more. One more word of advice for divine friendly. This person had you like feeling like sunken at the bottom of the ocean, like a ship with a hole in it, slowly sinking. This is how this person had you feeling, you know, like making promises to you, false promises. Promises to do things, promises to take you places. 
But they getting karma. Oh, they getting karma. Mm-hmm. Karma out here from both tarot decks and this upside down cross. They getting karma for being a snake. <laughs> yeah. They getting karma on that ass. Karma on that ass. Let's see what this person got to say. What does this person have to say? Why they going through this karma? Okay, spirit, speak through me and tell me. Let me hit my little bum one more time so I can tell you about this karma. Y'all, oh, spirit said, throw they ass in the tent. <laughs> you heard it. I guess I got to throw they ass in the tent, divine feminine. I'm going to have to bring the tent out. Spirit say, throw they ass in the tent. Because they're mad at your abundance and they're trying to slow you down. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to send confusion spells, conflict spells, chaos spells, three ring circus type of shit in your life, gang stalking you. Mm -hmm. They want you, they doing all this shit because they want you to move with them. See, they need your energy. They want you close to them. Because, see, you got that good, good energy. Uh-huh. Yeah. But, see, you caught them with, with one of these options that they deal with. And you floated right on over that shit. Okay? You realize you was dealing with the sneaky fox. Now, some of you, divine masculine, is, is, is um gifted. Okay? They got gifted organs. Now... Gifted don't always have to mean I was saying in the beginning. <coughs> Somebody got a big wang wang. Somebody got some wet, juicy, cushy, cushy. But a person uh, could have a little dick and be gifted sex organs. Their tongue can be used as a sex organ. But whoever it is you're dealing with, you could have caught them using a sex organ <coughs> on somebody else. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ooh, and some of you clown this clown because, ooh, ooh, how you do that there? Somebody was giving oral sex to somebody that's not circumcised. I mean, but hey, if that's your man and you love him, and I can't talk about it. I just, you know, I'm going to just leave that alone. <laughs> okay, so, okay, Holy Spirit, show me what it is that this person has to say to the divine Oh, they coming on out. Oh, come on down. You are the next contestant on Speak Your Truth. Okay, okay. The truth is they're toxic. The truth is you spoke your truth and you got this person in spiritual, emotional, or literal prison. Because you realize they're toxic and they were trying to pull you back in. What the fuck? But you got a big jackpot. Lottery wins and lots of money is on its way. Because you spoke the truth. Or if you haven't spoke the truth, you need to speak the truth. Because this person is a snake. And they want to play mind games with you. They don't want you to open up spiritually. Okay, spirit. So show me what this person got to say. I'm going to just keep pulling. I'm not going to stop no more. Give me one card to start it off. One, this one, just one. <coughs> Give me one card. Mm -hmm. Popping in and popping out. Oh, it done fell out. I'm in love with you forever. Angel numbers, 1111. So some of you may be seeing the angel number 1111. And that is the Holy Spirit reminding you of what it is you're thinking about at that exact time and moment to always be thinking positive. Because if you're thinking negative, they're right there by you. They're right there. Okay? And they're listening to you. So when you see them numbers, you're in a high manifestation mode. I know I need some lotion. 
I've been washing my hands in this hotel all day, back and forth, washing my hands. I don't know who been in here. I done been wiping down and everything. So that's why you see my hands all ashy. But yeah, um, when you see them angel numbers, those are messages from your, your guardian angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides. They are reminding you to think positive. So if you're going through something, don't think negative. Always think positive because if you're thinking negative, you're, you're inviting negative shit into your life. Okay, and somebody has the weakness for the same sex. Okay, tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. I gotta open the door. It's getting hot in here. Again, here we go. Throw they ass in the tent. Hold on, let me open my door. Chair, this chair. It gets hot in this room. Okay. So throw this ass in, throw the ass in the tent because this person is saying they disappointed in the decisions that they made and they're working on themselves. They say they can't communicate with you properly, so they play music to express their feelings. But see, divine family, you're tired of going back and forth with this person. You know, this merry-go-round relationship, third-party shit that they had you in. This person is, is uh, selfish, they're narcissistic, and they're control free. And they have somebody out there that's a side piece that wants your spot. You know, and this person really don't have a reason to be mad at you because there was no equal give and take in the relationship and you gave your all and they took all you gave with nothing in return. And so they sitting around, they waiting for you to fill up their basket with gifts and shit, money. Cologne, perfume. This person is a cheater. And you gave them one chance only for some of you because this person, you caught them and you're training them, showing them what you ain't gonna tolerate. And you have found a true friend indeed in yourself. And this person is now telling you, I'm having a hot flash. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Got hot in here. Okay, so this person is waiting for you to fill up their basket. But they saying they can be your king if you let me. They only saying that to, to try to manipulate you. Like they'll be giving to you and yeah, they'll give to you. Mm-hmm. Until they get you to start giving it to them. Then once you start giving to them, the giving from them is gonna stop. Okay? Because they wanted you to be needy and insecure. Mm-hmm. And unsure of yourself. So don't 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 let them fool you. All right. And they ain't going to never change, or they may change. But your spirit guides are watching over you. Okay? And this person is talking about their their uh, their sexual relations with you, about you, with their friends. Which is a shit-starting, toxic family of friends. Okay? And these friends are angry because you don't, you don't like third-party shits, threesomes, and fighting, and chaos, and conflicts. You're the more... You're, you're the more um, kick back, relaxing, and chilling type of energy. Okay. And this person, they was keeping you hanging a lot for these karmic ass family friends they got. They thought that they broke you mentally. And they tell you, I'm sorry I met you when I was going through a breakup. And the breakup, she still wipes from the back to the front. And they had trying to offer you something. Confirmation. Okay. Where they do that at? Karmic land. A karmic still wax from the back to the front, okay? And the spell has been br been broken, return to center. I reverse and I return to center. No weapon that forms against me shall prosper. Okay, what was the spell? What was the spell these karmics were trying to do to the divine? What are the spells? What are the spells that's been broken? We are the spells, Holy Spirit. Loss of money. You running from shit. 
you're able to start a new journey, a beginning of a new journey, because this person was trying to block your money. The spell against them fucking with your money has been broken. Are there any more spells? Are there any more spells that's been broken? Yeah. The spell of you losing sleep and sending, light, sending nightmares to you. You're enjoying yourself. You have a king of cups coming towards your energy that you could be you could beginning a new journey with. This person is getting karma. Yeah. Their spell has been broken. You've started a new journey with somebody new. This is a happy, satisfying relationship. Or you could be having some sort of fond memories of this person. Don't get, don't get, don't get caught up and get twisted. Okay? Because this is a snake returning. This is somebody there. They're trying to send the energy to you for you to be up thinking about them again. Don't let them do this shit to you no more. Mm -mm. They ain't going to never change. They're going to still do the same shit. Have you up losing sleep, throwing magic at you, fighting you and telling you they don't want it to, to end, but that's, you then spoke the truth. You need to heal. You're not healing from this person. Don't let this person control you. You're a fucking leader. Do you hear me? You control your life. You, cro you control your heart. You don't allow nobody to step on your shit like it's a, a piece of meat out the fucking grocery store. You ain't a piece of meat in a grocery store and your body parts are vital. Okay? You need that. You need your heart. Okay, two more. Two of Cups. Hermit energy. So some of you, this could be a Taurus. I mean, this could be a Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Or it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or it could be an Aquarius that's losing sleep, anxiety, worry, and stress. You don't deserve to be going through this shit behind this person. And now they're probably coming back towards you because they could have heard that you're on a new beginning with somebody. That you could be having a new, going on a new journey. And some of you, you running, they running from some shit and trying to run straight to you. And see if they didn't did some spell work and the spell work been broken, of course, they're going to be trying to run to you because they know you know about how protecting yourself. But they didn't think that you knew spiritually that they was one of the people who was throwing shit at you. So now they want to come to you and ask you for help? Who does that? Where they do that shit at? Karma Glenn? These motherfuckers throw spell work at you. And because it's backfiring on you, you come back and want, want the divine to help you heal or to help you uh, stop the shit, or to, uh, they just running. They don't know, but they need you. They want your help with some crystals and um, the, the sage and all of that. They probably come running to your house, like tell them, Satan, get the fuck away. Get thee away, Satan, from my dough. Let's see. Yeah. And see, for some of you, they they the the they could have multiple partners, right? But they got one particular who they've been sticking with that's kind of, you know, it could be one person. But they didn't caught that person. <laughs> they didn't caught that person with somebody else. That's what the fuck they get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where they do that, they caught their karma with the karma. <laughs> Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Look how they was looking when they seen them. Like they were scared. And this is the energy of somebody trying to make you afraid to scare to to uh, spend your own money. Now they are afraid. They're afraid to spend their own money. Because mm -hmm. their spell work is backfiring and they're getting calm. And they're having a tower moment. <laughs> Yeah, yes, baby. The spell has been broken. Now they're in jail. Some of them will be homeless because spiritual prison is, is poverty. Now, I'm not in spiritual prison. I was spiritually attacked. I'm not in poverty. I'm 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 just not in a home right now. I had a home, but uh 
my uh, crazy ass sibling put me out. He's my karmic. And he, they cast spells all on the judicial system and all of that shit. You know, did you know that? That the court systems are uh, manipulated by spell work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Okay, I've been here 35 minutes. It's time for me to go. What is the advice and the outcome? What is the advice and the outcome? Betrayal, defeat, backstabbing, waiting patiently for something else, vengeance, dispute, quarrels, number seven, defeat. <laughs> I ain't finished. You generously was given what you can to an unequal relationship. You wanted two of cups with this person, but you was stuck and unsure. This person was fooled with, they fooled you with trickery, fraud, false promises. Mm hmm. Keeping you stuck. Damn, this is a motherfucker that. That you dealing with. Is this what I was dealing with? Damn. When I look at it on cars, this is a woo. That's woo. This person. Ooh. Mm. Throw they ass in the tent. I can't even do no no side no no editing for this. This person is backstabbed, feeling backstabbed because they betrayed you. And you defeated them. Because their spell has been broken. Mm -hmm. And you were still given even though this person was taking you for granted. This is how they was keeping you stuck. A narcissist, selfish motherfucker. Throw they ass in the tent. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go because this reading making me mad. So I'm gonna stop it. If this reading with you, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. <clears throat> It may not be your energy, but it can be somebody close to you. Okay? Peace out.